All right. Just bend. So we've gone through add, subtract, multiply, divide. All right. Now the next thing we're going to learn is composition. And composition is going to take a couple different forms. It can look like this, f, and what this says is f of g of x. All right? And what that looks like, yeah, a lot of times we just call it fog. It, that's not an O. That's a composition symbol. But sometimes, we, just to remind, remember it, we say fog. And what it really means is the f of g of x. So, OK, um, let's backtrack a little bit. So if I want to do this, if I have f of x equals 2x, and I say f of negative 1, what do I do with the negative 1? Plug it in for x, right? You guys are pretty good at that. So that equals negative 2. What if I say f of x plus 1? What do I do with the x plus 1? Plug it in for the x, right? So let's follow this case. What if I do f of g of x? What do you think I'm going to do with the g of x? Plug it in, right? So this case, all I'm going to simply do is I'm going to plug 2 times g of x. Does that kind of make a little sense what I'm doing? I'm just following this pattern. So f of g of x means now I'm going to plug my g of x in for my variable. Now, here we didn't know what x was. right? We don't know the value of x. Here we know the value of negative 1. It's negative 1. But here, do we have a value for g of x? Yeah. g of x is negative 4x plus 5. So therefore, what this equals is 2 times negative 4x plus 5, which, applying distributive property, equals negative 8x plus 10. Everybody kind of follow a little bit of that? No? Let's do it the other way. Oh, yeah. Huh? 2x instead of 2. 